Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I know it has been a very long time since I've done a video. I think it's been like one whole month since I've had one out. So um, I just want to show you a few little things, uh, a few little hauls. I haven't really bought much in the past month. Um, it's been very crazy around here. Lots of um, doctors and hospital visits, unfortunately, but everything is good now. So. I had some tests and they all came out fine and just took my daughter to the doctor today because she has an ear infection but she's doing better now and my dad he had a, a minor stroke and so we were running back to the hospital last week but he's out now and it actually was a was a blessing because now they can monitor him so that you know nothing major ever happens so even though it was frustrating Things are okay now and hopefully starting to get back to normal. So let me show you a few of the cards that I've been working on first. I haven't really had much time to play at all, but I did make this card for my son. It was his birthday on Monday. He turned 15 and I wanted to make it very, you know, masculine. So this is just some paper from the um, Tim Holtz Lost and Found collection and all of these stickers are from the salvage stickers collection that um, match this. So I just put this calendar on, I circled the date of his birthday, popped these little bottle caps up on pop dots, um, used these little 15s, and then this is the only thing that's not Tim Holtz. This I think is K and Company from an older collection. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, but you know, very masculine, no bling, which makes me sad, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the for the guys. And then these next three cards, these are entries that I made. Uh, I tried out for the Outlines Rubber Stamp Company. I tried out for their design team. And I didn't make it, but you know, there's always next time. But these are some of the cards I made for them. Um, this is a birthday card I made, and uh, one of the one of the pearls popped off here but just added some um, this is some basic gray paper some bling these are two of their stamps here some rosebuds from my stash and this is a prima flower that I colored with oh I can't even remember the paint off the top of my head sorry guys my daughter has not slept in the past two nights and so you know neither have I so sorry if I babble or ramble or have no idea what I'm saying. Um, and this little border down here is actually from one of their larger stamps and I just cut these off and layered them instead of doing the big round. Um, I think they're called mandala designs. That was one. This was one I did last year with one of my favorite outlines stamps. So, just stamped this in green, green around the edges, and added some bling. Really simple, but it's always been one of my favorite Christmas cards. Um, this one I showed you guys that I had colored this part, but I just layered it on some cardstock, added this bat trim that my friend V sent me. And finally, this one was from an ornament stamp that they have. And instead of using it as an ornament stamp, I cut different parts of it out because I wanted to make them look like snowflakes. Added some pom-pom trim, some spellbinders, dies. This is an Inka Dinka Doo stamp. And then I used the snowflake embossing folder. And I also highlighted the high spots with um, some perfect pearls in uh, pearl and blue smoke, I think. That's that. And now I'll get to my little haul. Um, got a whole bunch of sea glass from a seller on eBay and just came yesterday. I got green and white because I want to try a technique that I learned about years ago. This was like the moment that you know I fell in love with Tim Holtz and everything that he does. Um, this one he was on the Carol Duvall show and he made a pseudo dichro bracelet. I don't know if any of you remember it, but it was absolutely gorgeous. 
and I just found these directions the other day when I was trying to make some sense of my craft space. So I'm going to try and make one of those soon and share it with all of you. And I did manage to get all four of the Tim Holtz stamps that were at Michael's. I of course didn't find them at my Michael's, but my friend Holly in California was nice enough to get them for me last week when they were 40 off and she just sent them to me. So. So uh, your check is going to be in the mail by tomorrow, Holly. But um, got this one. This one's called Christmas Miracle. This one is First Christmas. This is, I think, my favorite one. This is Reindeer Games. And this one is Santa Letter. So because of everything going on, I haven't had time to play, but I did stamp a couple images on the back of my directions I just found. Um, this is the Reindeer Games. I stamped in a few colors of blue, but you can't really tell. This is with um, Milled Lavender, Dusty Concord, and Broken China. And then this one, I um, used a couple of my red distress pads on the Santa, used a few of the green ones on this. And oh, first I went over the whole thing with um, old paper, then did the red, then did the green, then did some vintage photo around the edge, and kind of like how that one came out. And last but not least, these are some of my stamps. I placed an order with Impression Obsession. They are one of my favorite stamp companies, and they only have sales, I think, once a year, and everything was twenty off. So. I actually got these out of their clearance bin, plus another 20 off. This, so I got this one with the, with the butterfly. This one is butterfly round. I just thought it looked so pretty and it, you could put all kinds of stickles and pearls and um, rhinestones all over that. This one I got, the little kitty peeking out behind the planter. It's called garden planter. I got this because I want to play with my Lindy's magical micas and my distress inks and a water brush, brush to see you know if I can get better at coloring. This is another favorite of mine. It's called beach day. Just looks like a really fun one to color and you can add a lot of rhinestones and bling on there. And I got this one called Oh, it's just called Key. But I like this one because I can uh, stamp this on grunge paper or grunge board and really, you know, distress it and make it look like metal. And, and it's, you know, pretty big. And then I got some of the cover card stamps. I don't know how many of you are familiar with these, but they're wonderful. And hopefully my next video I'm going to show you the, the mount for these because it's fantastic. But these are the two that I got this time. This is called Distress Lines. And you can see it here. It's it's huge. It's like the size of my hand. I mean, I do have tiny hands, but still, it's big. And I like this one because you can stamp it this way. You can stamp it this way. You can stamp, you know, one over the top of each other and make a plaid look. You can stamp it and put other stamps on top of it. There's just a lot of uses for that one. Same thing with this one. This one's called Wavy Lines. And there it is. But they stick really, really well to the mount. They make really good impressions. And these are three that I had before. Bought this one a couple months ago. This one's called Newsprint. This one is the Crackle. I like to buy ones that I can use a lot of different ways. And this is my my little foofy girly one called Flourishes. But um, check them out. Here's their website, impression-obsession.com. They have great, great stuff. And these cover of card stamps are my absolute favorite. And I did have something else, and now I don't know where I stuck it. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Sorry, I had to walk across the room. I was going through some stuff in my storage room and I found some goodies. 
some ephemera and some keys and pins. This is actually from um, my family. And I just think they're so cool. And I didn't even realize I had this stuff. But I have this really cool pin. It's missing a bunch of stones, but that's okay. And this other kind of deco looking pin. Um, a whole bunch of little buttons. Where are they? Yeah, here's some buttons. This is a this is an earring. A really teeny tiny needle point. Couple initial letters. These are from my aunt. I think it's her my great aunt. Her last name starts with a K. Little crystal heart charm. And look at these loud cigarette loads. I don't know what those things are. I don't think oh yeah, I can't get this off. Look at those little teeny tiny things. These are some really cool pins. <laughs> These two are from the the Soft Drink Workers Union from 1955. I didn't even know there was a Soft Drink Workers Union. Um, a little another little pin. A little bird. This is cool. It's like a little license plate. 1961. New Jersey. It's a little military patch. A couple other little pins. What's this one? Oh, this is a U.S. Navy Honorable Discharge. I think that might have been my father's. This is uh, St. Christopher Medal. Another one of these little license plates. I love these things. And then, what is this? Oh, remember the Republic Lodge? Oh, this is from Boy Scout Camp. This was probably my father's. And the rest are these really cool keys. Oh, here's a ring. I don't think that's real. But look at these keys, you guys. This one's really nice. This one's really pretty. And these two are just amazing. Well, here's a tiny one, too. And a real tiny one. But these two. Ugh! They're gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous. I'll definitely be using these on some kind of project that is going to, you know, have a special place in my house somewhere. But anyway, I just want to let all you guys know that yes, I'm still here. No, I haven't had a chance to work on hardly anything at all. And hopefully uh, I will be back Friday maybe to show you the mount that goes with these. And I do have something in mind starting in January um, instead of my garage sale hauls since I can't shop, which is making me crazy. Um, but I do have um, a series that I'm thinking about doing starting in January. So I'll give you guys more hints about that later. Okay, so thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!